everyone. Welcome to the World Food Program Philippines. Um, we would like to welcome all our friends from media, our bloggers against hunger, and um, some of our WFP and KC supporters um, here with Viva also. Um, just to um, open the day and uh, even the press conference, we would like to um, acknowledge our guests, starting off our, with our very own representative and country director, Mr. Praveen Agrawal. Good morning to everybody and welcome here. And then we have also joining us from Bangkok, Mr. Jonathan Dor. Um, and then joining Hello. him, yeah, joining him, we would like to uh, uh, introduce someone very special to WFP who has been with us for the past um, five years. Our very own um, WFP Philippines National Ambassador Against Hunger, Miss Casey Concepcion. In the five years that I've been with WFP, I guess this is one of the most innovative, one of the most exciting and fun things that um, I'm going to be doing with them. Um, <clears throat> going online has been more and more, um, in, well obviously it's been so significant in, in uh, the progress of, of careers in all different fields, but I've been getting more and more into social media. It's also It all started with my Facebook account, which was private um, with my college friend. And I never quite went public with my Facebook page, but uh, I went very public with my blog before, and, and we were on it. And then also with Twitter and Instagram, I'm just very active on that. So going online and doing this um, was also a personal thing for me. And John was right in saying that it was a perfect uh, platform, a perfect partnership, because it's something that I would do myself, and at the same time, it's something that I understand. So doing, um, Collaborating with Sandbox was really a big surprise. I mean, it's probably also part of my bucket list to be <laughs> in a game. <laughs> but it's also um, easy to play. It's something that uh, we, we took our fundraising a step further. So it's not just you know creating events or creating something like Casey's Closet, which we started in 2010, mainly because my job as a as somebody in entertainment really requires a lot of outfits, a lot of things, a lot of, um, it's part of our job to be dressing up, it's part of our job to be uh, providing something new. It's a form of entertainment. Fashion is also a form of entertainment. Um, yeah, and seen friends in the industry where we would invite, it, it's basically like a celebrity bazaar where we all get to sell our second hand, like pre-love items. And then, you know, I guess I was really busy with my work in my show business, so we ended up coming up with something online which was easier for me to manage, which didn't anymore involve my other celebrity friends. It was mostly just Katie's Closet. So we came up with the brand. For some reason, I just, uh, I think it was Dia. I don't know who I approached to for that, but um, then we came up with uh, Katie's Closet, spoke to eBay, opened opened our own um, online auction account and uh, and then we realized that um, there was a market for it that people were actually buying my items and we saw that firsthand in the venues during the four years that we were doing artists fair in Eastwood and Rockwell and NBC Grand and MoMA so the same people have gone online and actually been involved in that in the online pieces closet, which is basically the online artists fair, but just me. And so we're really thankful for the loyal um, followers of this kind of thing because they actually really just go and look for what I wear. They know at some point it's going to get on Casey's closet. So um, you know there are things I've worn on TV that they see there and maybe that's an incentive for them to get it. Maybe they just like the item. Um, maybe they just want a piece of me. Maybe they just want to help in fighting on the worldwide. So it's become uh, something bigger than I ever thought. And this is another step into making this a real um, significant uh, form of fundraising for the advocacy. And this stylista Casey's closet is, you don't actually buy real clothes, so it's virtual. <laughs> Because they might think that the clothes you get there actually there's like a real version of it. No, this is just this is all virtual. But um, again, you're buying with actual money, so the donations um, go through Stylista directly to the player. 